Take a look around you. In the age of smart homes, heating technology is still lagging far behind. Radiators are clunky, ugly, and cost a lot of money to run. Until now. Here at Coletta, we've solved this with Solus, the most efficient radiator in the world. Environmentally friendly, accessible to all, and extremely affordable to run. Efficiency is the very core of Solus. In fact, our lab's testing has shown that Solus will save you between 80 and 95% of the cost of your heating. In order to make this reality, we invested time and effort in perfecting our unique graphene-based heating element and nanotech coating. This innovative technology allows Solus to be used in almost any application where there is a power source, whether it be in your apartment, off-grid, or with alternative energy sources such as solar and wind. AC or DC, it doesn't matter. We designed Solus from the ground up, not only to reduce your heating costs, but to completely replace expensive and outdated radiators. The Solus system is modular, meaning it adapts to your living circumstance and can even move home with you. Designed to be used freestanding or wall-mounted, our eye-catching tri-layer glass build offers a sleek and reflective black finish. With Solus, we moved away from the standard metal radiator and instead we use lightweight tempered glass. Not only does this make our product super light and therefore portable, it also offers an incredibly durable and scratch resistant finish. Solus also comes with a prepackaged thermal regulator, which you can use to set the desired room temperature. Once the temperature is reached, the heater will automatically cycle on and off to maintain the warmth instead of running continuously. This saves you money, prevents overheated rooms is better for the environment. Solus is durable. We wanted to make a system that lasts. Unlike traditional heating elements, Solus doesn't suffer decreased efficiency from oxidation, meaning that it will still be just as efficient 30 years from now as it is today. At Coletta, we have years of R&D behind Solus. We have done our prototyping and laboratory tests. We already have preliminary agreements with suppliers for every single component that makes up the complete product. Which brings us to now. We want to bring you on board for the final stages of our journey towards mass production. With the help of Kickstarter and your backing, we'll invest in our first production run, raw materials and the warehouse space needed to make Solus a reality. By backing Solus now, you'll save money on your heating costs and make a more sustainable future possible for all. Hi, my name is Becky Ingham and I work for a company called HookPod Limited. Now, HookPod was established as a company a year ago uh, with a very specific set of aims to produce, develop and manufacture this, which is a HookPod. The HookPod's been designed to counter a very specific environmental problem that fisheries around the world face, and that is the problem of seabird bycatch. Each year 300,000 seabirds are killed as a direct result of interactions with commercial fisheries. 100,000 of these are albatross, and as a direct result of that interaction, 15 out of the 22 albatross species are currently threatened with extinction. Longline fishing is a commercial fishing activity which involves one incredibly long main line. This has hanging off it many, many thousands of baited hooks spaced at intervals and held in the water column by buoys. During the setting process, these lines and these baited hooks are deployed over the side or the back of the vessel and during that time birds dive down to take the bait, become hooked, dragged underwater and subsequently killed. So this is how the hook pod works. The fisherman baits up the hook and then they have the uh, hook pod on the branch lines and they simply push the point of the hook against the spring-loaded doors, it loads like that very quickly. This is then thrown into the sea, it sinks very quickly, it's got weight included to help it sink and obviously the barb and the point of the hook are protected from the seabird. Then when it drops to 10 metres depth the pressure release mechanism opens up and the baited hook falls out. And this is the point where the LED comes on as the, um, as the hook pot opens and this is used to attract bait fish 
which create movement in the water and attract target fish who then come along and get caught on this baby. So the pod's a really clever device and a lot of those design features that make it clever have been incorporated as a direct result of suggestions and feedback from the fishing industry. All the way through trials, fishermen have kind of given us suggestions about things that would make it better for them and easier to use, um, beginning with the, the simple shape of the device, which is ergonomic and fits easily in a hand, particularly if you're cold and at sea and you've got gloves on. The opening mechanism is an air pressure chamber, which relies on the inherently reliable force of pressure at depth to open it, so it's a very reliable mechanism. There's a weight included, which reduces the need for any additional line weighting. So for fishermen who would normally use lead weights, that's something they don't need to bother with. And finally, the LED light that comes on when the pod opens takes away the need for any use of light sticks. Now, in fisheries all around the world, there's millions of light sticks used every year, which are simply disposed of at sea after one use. With the replaceable batteries within the pod, that's going to totally eliminate that marine waste and also an extra step in the fishing process for fishermen. So the reason that we've come to Kickstarter is we want you to be part of helping us launch HookPod into the commercial fishery. And we're not just talking about getting HookPods out on a few boats. We're actually talking about the mass production that will allow fishermen all over the world to make a choice to use HookPods because it prevents them having to use any other mitigation measures, it's really easy to operate and ultimately it's cost effective. It will save them money. Now we think this is a pretty cool thing to be part of and actually together if you do too we can prevent the extinction of the albatross. These two geeks right here are Carla and Gilad, and they've invented something that will blow your mind. And like any other major invention of the 21st century, it all started with a mix of bad smell and irritating stains. Introducing the Click Stick, the first smart electric deodorant. You see, Gilad and Carla realized it was time to make deodorant more fun and effective. And as graduate students at Princeton University, they knew they had to conduct an experiment. Luckily for them, they found these guys, who will do anything for five dollars. We hooked our subjects up to electrodes that alert them every time the deodorant touches their clothes. This taught us that most stains occur on the way to the armpit. That's right, those 24 inches are a deadly road for your clothes. With Click Stick, you get this magic button, so you can press it when your stick is already at your armpit. No more stains, and you can do it easily with just one hand. Remember what happens when you put too little? That's right. It makes you stink. And when you put too much, you'll enjoy that sticky feeling with the crumbly white look. With Click Stick, you get the exact same amount with every click, so you don't get sticky or stinky ever again. You know what's not cool? Getting stuck with your old deodorant. And a chicken. In the dark. That's why we've added this super cool light, which besides being cool, can also protect you from wild animals. The amount of plastic used in one deodorant stick is the equivalent of this many plastic bags. That's why Click Stick is a refillable product. It saves tons of plastic and money. Is it smart? Hell yeah! The smart click stick will come with a free app that will personalize it for you and lets you order refills whenever you want.
So here's the thing. ClickStick prototype is completely functional. We need just one backer to pay for the experiment and a thousand backers to go into mass production. So listen to your armpit and back up Gilad and Carla. It's important. We've all heard about climate change. But what can you really do about it? You could switch to using low energy light bulbs. Switching 60 bulbs is equal to taking one car off the road. Or you can install a smart thermostat. Install four, and that's equal to taking one car off the road. Or hey, you could actually take your car off the road, which takes one car off the road. Look, that's great, but what if you want to make a real difference? What if your old device could do something equal to taking 3,000 cars off the road? Here's how. Destruction of forests is the second largest contributor to climate change. Every year, it produces more greenhouse gas than all of the world's airplanes, ships, trains, cars, and trucks combined. Experts agree stopping illegal logging is the fastest and cheapest way to fight climate change and stop massive global extinctions. But what can you really do about it? The solution has been in your pocket the whole time. This is Rainforest Connection, a technology built from recycled smartphones that fights climate change and mass extinctions at the source by protecting rainforests from being destroyed. It's an amazingly simple system. My name is Topher White, and I'm a physicist and the engineer behind Rainforest Connection. Rainforest Connection is the world's first real-time technology for protecting the rainforest. We take an old smartphone, retrofit it with solar panels, and hide it in the tree canopy, where it listens constantly for the sound profiles of illegal logging. The moment that a chainsaw is used in the forest, the noise is picked up by our devices and using the standard GSM cell phone network, an alert is sent to local partners who can intervene and actually halt the logging on the spot. This entire process can happen within a matter of minutes. Our system also lets anyone from around the world hear the sounds of the rainforest. Each device can detect chainsaw noises up to a kilometer in the distance, protecting an area of forest from destruction that would have an effect equal to 3,000 cars on the road. But does it work? To find out, we took our system to Indonesia, to one of the world's most endangered rainforests, to a wildlife reserve which was threatened daily by logging. In partnership with locals, we installed a prototype of our system, and within one day, we detected our first illegal chainsaw noises. We were able to respond immediately and arrived on the scene within minutes, effectively interrupting the loggers in the act. We spent the last months planning three ambitious new pilots in Indonesia, in Africa, and the Amazon. But now we need your help to get there. We've used lawsuits, we've used, you know, government regulations, we've used consumer boycotts, we've used sort of market pressure campaigns, and we need to continue using all of those avenues. But frankly, we need more tools, and this is the most exciting, critical new tool that I've seen that I think can help us get the job done. If we can raise $100,000, we can ramp up production immediately and be on the ground in the jungle by midsummer with enough devices to protect hundreds of square kilometers of forest. If you can help us raise more, we can do the same in Brazil and Indonesia this year. This amazing work that's being pioneered by Rainforest Connection has the potential to provide the forest with a new voice and provide those who are trying to save it with new ears. This technology enables the forest to talk to the world. When the forest is threatened, the forest can speak and you can hear it. The technology that Rainforest Connection is using and what they're providing as a service is a totally different way to deal with the world's forests. So if you can respond in real time to somebody using a chainsaw in the forest, it totally changes the game. Innovations like those who have been developed by Rainforest Connection are absolutely crucial to tools in achieving our goal of saving the world's rainforests. This innovative technology can not only help law enforcement protect forests that are being disturbed, it can also help wildlife managers keep tabs on animals that are not easily seen, like orangutans, by listening to their vocalizations. Nonprofits around the world are extremely excited by the low cost and the high power that this technology can provide. And I hope people will really contribute to this effort and let's get out there and let's make this great ecological U-turn to a more socially just and sound society for ourselves in our own lifetimes and for future generations. We can stop illegal deforestation. The solution has been in your pocket the whole time. We've all heard about climate change, 
Now there is something that you can do about it. I'm just collecting data. Ian, what the heck is that? What is going on? I'm just measuring your stress levels. All right, Ian, enough of this harassment. I need to know what is going on. I'm collecting your snot. Why do you need my tissue with my snot on it? Come outside and I'll explain it to you. What's going on here? We're really looking for ways to collect biological data without harassing the animals. And here comes our drones we affectionately call Snotbot. Ocean Alliance has been at the forefront of marine mammal research for over 40 years. It was our founder, Dr. Roger Payne, who first discovered the whales sing songs, and today we're excited to introduce our latest contribution to the field of marine mammal science and innovation, Snotbot. Snotbots are custom-built small drones developed in partnership with Olin College of Engineering. They are designed to hover safely above a whale and collect samples of the blow expelled from their lungs in a way that won't harass or disturb the whale in any way. These blow samples or snot, are a treasure trove of data. With them, we can sequence DNA, measure stress and pregnancy hormone levels, determine virus and bacteria loads, and run a host of other non-invasive experiments. Give us a clear picture of these animals as they are in the wild on their own terms. We believe that looking into the undisturbed lives of whales may give us a greater understanding of current threats than do existing research methodologies. And this picture is vital to our understanding not only of them and the oceans they inhabit, but ultimately the health of this blue planet we call home. Snotbot also allows us to gather this priceless data much more economically than ever before by removing the need for expensive research vessels and a big logistics operation. We can travel light and fast, gather our samples with less effort and at reduced risk to both whale and researcher. Snotbot has been built, tested, and is ready to go. Our goal is to travel to three locations and sample three species with different lifestyles and habitats. To Patagonia for the highly endangered southern right whale. To the Sea of Cortez off Mexico to study sperm whales. And finally, to Alaska to study humpback whales. With these unique data sets, we can begin the process of understanding how our current knowledge stacks up to this new data collected through these state-of-the-art, non-invasive techniques. All the while, tweaking and refining our platforms, making them more useful to anyone who wants to use drones to study and or conserve the natural world. Hello, I'm Patrick Stewart, and I'm asking you to support my good friend, Captain Ian Kerr, and Ocean Alliance, in their quest for better, more effective, more efficient, innovative research that will give us answers to some of the mysteries about the ocean, and particularly, whales.